What are we doing today, babe? My tattoo touched up. Tattoo touched up. Um. And I'm getting piercings. <laughs> I've been wanting to get my second one's repairs for a while now, and I've been waiting for Tony to get his touches so that way I can do it at the same time. Those were my very loud wipers, but we'll see you guys in a bit. done i'm super excited this is bleeding a little bit but tony filmed that so hopefully it came out okay <laughs> so i think that's it for this little segment of the video but i'll see you guys in a little bit we just got home and i have my freshly pierced ears freshly pierced ears and this one looks pretty good but dun 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 look at this i'm bleeding out <laughs> Um, yeah, this one's bleeding a lot. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna go ahead and take off this piercing That way I can wash whatever's going on in here and get it cleaned up And then I'm gonna go to the store so I can buy like that solution that they mentioned. I don't know, but yes. So today is a rainy day so far we've gone to go do Tony's touch-up and I got my piercings I already washed these ears and I decided to take off the earrings I was wearing because there was a lot of bleeding going on and just in case it starts up again i don't want you know so anyway i am going to be going to the store now because one tony needs aquaphor and then i need 
well, I want to get um, that little saline spray solution for your ears. That way it helps with the healing process and all that. I know it's not necessary, but I do want to take care of my ears. And if I can, why not? So I'm going to go do that. And then also update you a little bit as to what's been going on with me, why I haven't been online or on YouTube or anything like that, why I decided to delete my Facebook and what have you. But we'll get into that in just a little bit. So let me go ahead and just position you correctly. Hopefully you don't fall. I'm using you on my camera and I don't have a stand. Um, Tony was actually just saying how I should probably consider getting one of those like non-slip grip type things. So that way, you know, I can safely put it and not be too concerned with it slipping around. Get me? As a matter of fact, let me start driving and I was just start telling you and then we'll go from there. Okay. So as I was trying to say, I mentioned a couple of videos ago that I'm trying to help out my hair. I guess stress affects me and my hair in ways where it falls out. So this last year for me and for a lot of us, everybody, if not, um, 2020 has been tough, right? Uh, I've been very lucky. We have been very lucky and I fully 100% recognize that. You see my camera slipping. I do have a car stand, so I'm going to go ahead and film this portion of the video with my phone instead. So as I was saying, I wanted to tell you a little bit as to where I've been and why I haven't been on YouTube very much and making my videos. I've been able to stay home um, and take care of other things. It's also shifted life for me in a way in which I'm just basically trying to catch up. Um, I don't know how else to put it. It just kind of feels as if I have a lot of things going on at the same time, but yet I have the time, but yet my own anxiety doesn't allow me to do things with that time. It's just, it's very confusing, I know. Um, I don't even understand myself sometimes, and maybe you do get what I'm saying, but I just wanted to share a little bit about it because I feel that a lot of the times we tend to punish ourselves or make ourselves feel bad for the things that we're not able to do or we see others doing and we feel like we should be doing it too. One of the things that I had noticed myself doing a lot and maybe this is you too, right? So we're friends here, we can talk, it's okay. I feel like I was getting to the point where I would wake up and the first thing I would do was go straight to my phone. And although, you know, I had a lot of hours in the day, it just felt like it was consuming too much, too much of my time. And I don't know if it ever happens to you, but whenever you visit an app often, at least me, I'll be very automatic about it. And let's say that I tell myself, I'm going to go ahead and check the time, right? I would get my phone, check the time. And the next thing I know, I'm going to Facebook and just scrolling for a while, watching videos, random things, sharing pictures, sharing memes. And yet what I had originally set myself out to do, I didn't do. Sometimes I would close my phone back up and then I'd be like, wait, what was the time? I had noticed that a lot and it was just getting worse over time. And I decided on my own that I was going to do something for myself. I'm not going to take away from the goals that I have. I want to continue to pursue YouTube. I want to continue to pursue a job in video creation and, and videography because I've learned in myself over the last almost year that I love making videos, I love making content. So basically Facebook was consuming a lot of my time and I decided to do something about it. Now, I do understand that having something like Facebook would be beneficial for my presence on my YouTube channel and it would help it grow maybe, but at the same time, I also have other things in my life that I want to take care of. For one is school. A few weeks ago, I went with my new job. Um, I don't even know what to call it or what to say it is because it's something brand new. So I work for a real estate group as their video creator or um, videographer, if you wish to call. So I've learned that it's one of my biggest passions. Okay, so I am here for this. This is the Ultimate Lens 30 Day Therapy. I have been doing this for two months now, and this is about to be box number three. I'm really excited to keep going because I am noticing results. Now, the next thing I wanted to get is this. This is the Curlsmith Transition Kit, and it costs $65, but I know that right now for Black Friday, they have it on sale, I think 40% off through the main website. So I'm gonna find out if in case this is on sale too, and we'll get it today. If not, we'll just have to order it and save ourselves 40%.
These are the pills that I saw inside and I took a little video of it. But what I am going to be ordering though is going to be the transitioning kit. Now the reason why I didn't buy it here is because it's $65 and online right now there's a 40% off. Hopefully still because I saw this yesterday. Is today Saturday? Or was it today? I still saw it in my cart today, but it still said 48 something after the 40% off. So I'm excited to be ordering that pretty soon. Other than that, I went to Marshall's. I got myself this little like QB thing. It's so cute. So it's a little QB and it has a couple of things. So you'll probably be seeing this in my videos. I'm probably going to be including it in my backdrop, but it's just like positive thinking. So rise and grind. We have in a world where you can be anything, be kind. So I'm excited to have this. And then I have some of these lavender candles. I tried these the other day, but I got mine from GNC and I was impressed i was not expecting to see what i saw and then i saw these little scrunchies so i bought this now we're gonna drive away the last stop is going to be walmart at walmart i'm gonna find the original things that i actually left my house for which was the aquaphor and the saline solution for my ears it hurt a little bit more than i expected to but they're here and i'm excited i've been wanting to get them for a while so anyway enough talking let us drive and go to walmart Hi everyone, this is the following day and I really hope that you like the video that I put together for you guys. Part of it was just us getting, well, me getting my piercings done, Tony getting his touch up, and then for the most of it I was just talking. I want to say thank you to all of those who were actually listening and maybe even understanding where it is that I'm coming from based on the things that I talked about. Now, as I told you guys, I don't have Facebook anymore, but I do have an Instagram. So please feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and put the name of my IG right here. That way you can go ahead and do so. Other than that, I do want to let you guys know though that I am still in the end of my semester so I am finishing up a couple of things for school but then once all of that is said and done I am so excited for the month of December because I'm gonna come at you guys strong okay I'm very excited to be finishing up school so that I can go ahead and devote myself creatively into my YouTube channel and my work and all of that and just be really excited for this journey this path that I'm on oh yes I got a new backdrop I don't know if you guys can see I got a new backdrop I love it a lot the only thing that I I'm like about it. I don't know if you can hear my dog drinking water in the background. As I was saying, I was wanting to do one for the month of October, then again for the month of November, and then of course here in December. <laughs> Today's actually November 29th, so we're not technically in December yet, but Tony was very adamant about waiting and giving every month its appropriate time. October was for Halloween, November was for Thanksgiving, and December I had to wait for my decorations. Now, I haven't decorated anything else but this, but I'm excited to get that going. So these are my little decor. You'll be seeing that in my videos, and I'm excited that, you know, it's here now, and it's the month of December, and it's my favorite time of the year. The holidays in general are just my favorite time of the year. I tried doing a heart. Can you tell? Look. Can you tell that that's a heart? It's supposed to be a heart. Um, yeah, I feel like this outro maybe is a little longer than it should be, but I do want to make sure that I get in all the information that I needed to. Um, once again, I'm very thankful for you guys. I'm very thankful that you are so understanding in me coming in and out of YouTube and even social media now as I've left Facebook, but I am very thankful. I'm very thankful for all of you that are here. We're almost at 200 subscribers, everybody. Yay! I'm happy that you're here and I'm happy that you are going to continue to be here hopefully. Um, I do want to encourage you guys to start conversations in the comments. I talked about a couple of things today and I don't know maybe you relate to some of those things that I mentioned and if you do feel free to drop a comment down below or even send me a personal message. I'm always here for you guys. I am still you know planning that video that follow-up video but I want to do it the right way. I want to do it when my head is clear and I can get my thoughts across and I can actually talk to you guys and you know, be honest with you and be real. So please consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate that. Just know that every like that you give my videos, every comment you drop down below, every share that you do helps me and my growth so, so much. And I can't thank you enough for that. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end this video now and just say thank you so much for being here. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. This is the little cubie that I bought. I showed you guys this in my video. Now, whoops, <laughs> this is my blue French horn from How I Met Your Mother, but it says, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. And I absolutely love that quote. It's all about kindness, guys. Remember to love each other, be good to one another, and have a happy holidays. So I'll be seeing you guys soon. Bye.